this is Alfred. Today we will be talking about steps signal. So essentially what we will try to do is to produce this type of pulse signal. As you can see it goes high then it steps down, stays for a little bit a little bit period of time, goes down, stays a little bit period of the time, then goes down and it just does that until it hits to zero. I just wanted to show you how you could do it with an Arduino and um, this is it let's go ahead and close out of this signal or to monitor it you want to connect it to the red and black wire the digital analog converter to pin number zero and obviously the ground that will give you the pulse output and here's what the Arduino dual look like. We got some analog in, input pins. We got some digital PWM. More digital pins. 5 volt pins on ground. Looks actually quite nice got the power and the and two pins of the digital analog converters and the board looks really well done the code look like but first of all um, fundamentally all you need is um, this the code part of it and this particular file um, part of it so this file this one have been modified. Let's call this modified five square wave to step wave. Yep. All right. So and that's essentially all you need. And and uh, so you want to have those two files in one. Uh, and on the same folder and uh, you want to name your folder uh, function uh, generator just go ahead and do you want to do this then the next is that you want to include that file so if you notice that this name is the same thing as this name so you want to include it on your Arduino and this essentially it sets up um, the sample rate then let's just go ahead and go to setup so i don't i don't have much on the setup i just um, set up the my serial port board rate and on the loop very this is the type of code that i like very clean and simple to read it's not too busy but it does exactly what you need it to do um so essentially what i'm what i'm trying to do here is um, set uh, the sample rate of of the signal. Um, I get it from. By the way, this code is essentially an example um, code. Uh, the the person I forgot who who he is, but the person was trying to show how to um, generate multiple waves: a sine wave, um, triangle wave. Uh, so to wave and um, a square wave so what I did was I just essentially went here and modified the square wave uh, instead of having you know one high and one low and uh, I just had a couple things in the middle before hitting the high I don't know if I've done it, if that made sense. So this is actually the high. So I have, I have a couple a couple lower signals in the middle before hitting the high, and it just re repeats itself. So the net. So this example sets the sample rate. Um, so this analog right um, sets where you want the signal to be written to so it will take essentially what it's doing is that it's taking every loop it takes a number 
this so this i from the array so from the wave form table this is the wave form table so this this is defining an array here so it takes this this is the waveform table function so it will take it and it, this is wave zero and this is where I I define it um, wave zero is actually three and I don't need this to be about her but let's leave it there so it's three and if you go back to the index three so this is this is a zero index so this is index number zero this is index number one index number two and the modify wave is index number three so essentially i did not i just didn't care about all these other signals anymore I should probably delete everything and have these at zero but I didn't want to do too much modification left everything as is from the example code um, and this example code came from the Arduino website so and I just basically modified it and, ha and had it do what I needed it to do uh, which is I'm um, generating a step signal so so when you go to this waveform table, again this one, so you want to iterate through this array, right? So that's exactly what I'm doing. Every loop, I am grabbing the array signal, and I am also in you know outputting it on the digital analog converter pin number zero which is right here so i am outputting it from this particular pin and if you monitor this pin you will see um, the signal coming out and um, just to show the type of signal i am outputting i went ahead and did a serial print line to see the signal i should have probably um, connected an, an analog input to digital analog converter pin zero to monitor what what this pin is actually seeing but for this demonstration I felt like um, printing it on a serial monitor will be sufficient enough to show what's going on so and as soon as I hit the maximum sample number, it it will set it back to zero, and it will start afresh. So, and the maximum output in number is this guy right here. So this is the maximum number. So, so essentially, it will it will you know output this this this, and uh, as soon as it hits this, obviously the I the variable i will now be 120 so as soon as i hit it i will set back to zero then it will start all over afresh and that's how we are able to produce the signal or the pulse output that looks like a step signal uh, which i will be showing to you shortly So we are done uploading. So let's go ahead and monitor it. So like as you can see, it starts from zero. It goes all the way to high. And and this is just um, a hex number. So this is essentially a hex number when converted to, I had to do a lot of um, <laughs> calculation to um, come up with this number, but uh, just to make sure it's evenly spaced in a way that it will be easy to um, easy to um, like the different steps in the signal is um, somewhat equal I know some of them are not really equal but see how these are a little bit longer a longer difference from the rest of the signal so 
I, I just did what I could, but um, this is a hex a hexadecimal value. So if you convert it to a decimal value, it will give you the ADC um, value that um, gets outputted through the digital analog converter. Then the digital analog converter outputs as a voltage value. And that's what it looks like when it's all said and done. Uh, when you measure this, it should be in the range of um, four, four to five volts, I believe. So, yeah, that's what it looks like. I think I think I will stop right here. I hope this was um, helpful. Oh yeah, I do also delay um, delay microseconds um, based on whatever this. Um, so this is sample. So I usually I have it at a um, hundred thousand um, delay in microseconds. So if you want to make the wave a little bit faster, hundred. Yeah, you are. So if you so that will really significantly change your your the, the speed of the sampling. So yeah, that's what it looks like. I hope this was useful. Uh, go ahead and um, subscribe if you haven't done so. If you like to see a um, geek out with me, like I I do quite often, and um, hope you have a wonderful day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.